To create a 360 degree spherical painting, you need to start off with the geometry grid that I have illustrated on this canvas. Canvases need to be sized one by two. Whatever you pick for a height, you have to double it for the length so that when it's wrapped around a sphere, it can give you the spherical diagram that you're looking for. This is the initial canvas. It is drawn here strictly as a guideline so that when I start painting, I can follow some of the geometries. As you'll see here, I started with the sky and I painted them in spheres, not knowing beforehand what it would actually look like when I put it into a 360 viewer. I tried to keep it fairly generic and once I got the sky in, I decided to put the land in next, kind of like a scenery of trees. Now as you'll see, I learned a little bit of a lesson here as I went into another phase of this painting after looking at the outcome. When you do a spherical painting, you're going to need to take pictures often and view it to see what you need to modify. I noticed as I painted the land that I did not need to follow the contour lines that anything in the center of this painting can be pretty much proportional and straight as that gets wrapped around in the center of the 360. Anything below or above has to fan out like the tree in the middle of this painting fans out the clouds the further up they are the more they have to fan out. I painted a floating island some graphics in the bottom and arches and those things you find on Pandora and then threw it into the viewer. So each one of these views taught me a different lesson about how to paint in 360 degree spherical. There's still a lot to learn and my next creation will either be in digital on my Cintiq or a much larger canvas like 36 by 72. I hope you enjoyed this flick and learned a few things about 360 spherical painting. And if you'd like to see the 360 degree video, just log on to my YouTube page, Renaissance Man, to see the final product. This is the first in the history of all the world where 360 degree spherical principles have been applied to painting.